This is a dry milk room. There are two types of milk rooms. One is where you use a lot of water. And this one here, uh, we actually don't use water, uh, except for in the sink and, of course, a little spot there for things to dry. So, right here, first of all, we have a cabinet where we keep our bottles and our caps in the uh, bags that they come in, uh, san sanitary bags that they come in. Also, I want to talk about the wood here uh, that this room is made of. Um, this is a polyurethane varnish on here, so this is very washable, very cleanable, um, so that we have a, uh, a, a very uh, good place to be working in. Um, this is where we hang the milker. And uh, because this is a dry um, milk room, we actually have a big tote where we actually let it dry in to keep the water off the floor. So uh, this tote, obviously, uh, uh, we, we allow that to clean and uh, uh, clean that every once in a while. And we also, um, uh, so, so here we have the, um, the sink. And uh, we've got a sprayer here. We have a, got a, uh, a soap, and then of course this is just to show you what, what we're using as a soap for some of the cleaning process. Um, of course, obviously this is just a regular sink where we have our soaps and cleaners underneath. We'll be showing you what the soaps are as we go through. Uh, we have a, uh, over here we have the uh, towel, uh, paper towels, the fire extinguisher, and the uh, white paper basket, waste paper basket. And then as we move over here to this side, we have a table. This is a uh, easily sanitized uh, uh, plastic folding table here that we are utilizing. And this shows you some of the equipment that we will be using in the process. Uh, we have a shelving unit here handy for us if we need to set things on. That's a, a place that can be sanitized and is a clean place to set things on if we need to set things. And then up here we have a uh, cupboard where we keep our caps handy for when we do the bottling. And then we also have the uh, commercial uh, milk pads, uh, filters there for the strainer. So uh, that pretty much shows the milk room. And uh, from there, we will now actually begin to do the prep. So we will move over here. together, hook it up, and then we will be sanitizing the equipment in preparation for milking. When you have equipment sitting out in the open, there's always a chance for it not to be 100% uh, sterile or sanitized. You're filling a bucket with hot water, and then we will uh, be putting in 200 parts per million of the uh, five and a quarter sodium hypochlorite for uh, sanitation. We have a uh, compressor under the table here that's identical to the one that we use to do the actual milking, specifically for cleaning and sanitizing the equipment in here. What we're doing here is we're running two gallons of hot water to sanitize the equipment. So that sucks it through here, and as you can see, when we bounce this, how much agitation that creates in the water and how fast that gets sucked through there. bucket where the uh, sanitizer was actually in and we go ahead and fill that back up in preparation to rinse with clean fresh well water that uh, is tested by the um, uh, the health department so we, we don't have hard water here we have nice soft water it's very drinkable very platable uh, Great Lakes region water 
So we're very thankful for that part. We don't need to have a water softener. Everything is completely natural here. And so what we're going to do here is we actually unhook the equipment and rinse so that we make sure that there is no um, none of the uh, sanitizer actually in the bucket when we go to be milking. So we slosh the sanitizer around, we roll the bucket so that could be on all sides, and then we go ahead and pour it in here into the sink. By that time this bucket is full of fresh clean water and we're ready to do the rinse. Go ahead and plug it back in. And we again agitate it through there. By letting some air in with it, it creates a very creates a lot of turbulence in the water as it shoots through. And that helps get everything clean. And we're done with that step of the process. Now, as you see here, that hose is on the floor. Uh, we keep the floor clean, but you can also see that just to understand how the milker system works, the vacuum actually, the vacuum actually never comes in contact with the milk or the uh, side of the, the milk side of the process. So absolutely important to keep the equipment clean. But that part is actually comes and is actually sucking. So it's it's putting vacuum at this point into the milker and then in turn up to the hose. Let's talk about the milker a little bit. We uh, we really like this system here. Uh, we like the uh, the inflations is nice and soft, very uh, uh, nice for the for the uh, comfort of the camel's udder. And uh, we have down here an automatic shutoff. So if the milker did happen to fall off, this automatically shuts off so that um, it uh, doesn't suck loose anything loose into into the uh, milk into the inflation so uh, now since we have fresh water in this sanitized bucket we take this off and we hang it over here it is sanitized and then we rinse the bucket once more Now obviously we don't want a lot of water in the bucket when we go to be milking. So we do take some time to let that drip. There will be traces of my fresh well water in the bucket, but it's going to be very minimal. ready to go milking. Now what I do, and you will see this out in the uh, barn, is uh, I, I call what we call our milk boat. <laughs> it's actually a nice sled that we set the milker in and that makes so that the actual milker doesn't come into contact with the floor out in the milking uh, parlor, if you may, the barn. So uh, I think that's it. We'll go ahead and we'll move out to the barn. Years in heaven, no sun.